let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord unto him and him alone who has kept who has sustained and who has preserved us all to this very moment be all the glory honor adoration dominion now and forevermore and amen and amen we are so grateful for everything O Lord Father your name alone be forever exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. A Bible text for today is taken from the book of First Peter chapter 5, verse 9 to 11. First Peter chapter 5, verse 9 to 11. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same suffering are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may God of all grace, who call us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, a perfect, established, strengthened, and settled you. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. New King James Version. May the Lord God engrave his word in the tablet of our heart, and may he give every one of us ability to will and to do his perfect will in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. A word of faith on this week edition is entitled Suffering. Suffering. Thank you Father for your faithfulness. My dear viewers and beloved in Christ, you all call it suffering but we no need to be light affliction. It is this dispensation that tag suffering as a retribution for sin. Even they see it as a sign that Jehovah God is not with you. Have you not read the testimony of the whole apostle, the twelve disciple of Jesus Christ? Beloved, they suffered. They died a painful and horrible death. But the book of Revelation chapter 21, the verse 14, Revelation chapter 21, verse 14, recorded the eternal reward accrued to their suffering. Now the wall of the city has 12 foundations. And on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Glory be to God. Their names are written in the foundation of the new Jerusalem in heaven. Dear viewers, without no reservance of word, there is dignity in suffering. Not to suffer as a criminal. Or as a evil doer, as shown in the Bible, First Peter chapter four verse fifteen. But let not of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evil doer, or as a busybody in other men's affair. No, not this one we're talking about. There is dignity in suffering. Is someone listening? There is a reward. Rewarding dignity in a woman that genuinely and patiently suffer with her husband. Oh, never mind. It has been sold to this generation. There is dignity in suffering. And there is no lasting value in that which that you did not suffer for. I don't want to suffer the echo around in this generation. I don't know where they get it from. No wonder they don't live longer. They don't live longer anymore. Even that little wish they acquire, he left them in the middle of their days. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 11 says in the Amplifier version, like the Partridge that arches egg which she has not laid 
So it's he who make fortune in the way that are unjust. It is be lost unto him before his day are over. And in the end will be nothing but a fool. Believe me honestly, suffering produces an unending relationship. Suffering we're talking about. The word call it suffering. We no need to be light affliction. That was why Apostle Paul cried out in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in it is dead. Fellowship of his suffering. Beloved Christ, when you suffer for righteousness sake, though your body might be in exile, though your body might be enslaved, in pain, believe me honestly, your soul are free. That's why he said to us in James chapter 1 verse 2, that we should consider it pure joy, brothers and sisters. Whenever we face any trial of any kind, there is dignity in light affliction. I don't understand it. The problem with this generation, they don't want to go through any of this life curriculum. They don't understand that suffering is part of the package of life. They want to pass without an examination. They cannot even suffer their stomach for a meal in fasting to win a war or to gain favor like Hester did. They don't want to suffer. Apostle Paul said boldly, I love it in the New Living Translation, Galatians chapter, chapter 6 verse, verse 17. From now on, don't let anyone trouble me with this thing, for I bear in my body the scare that shows I belong to Jesus. Another version says, because I bear the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have any scare or mark to show as a proof? Is there any scar or mark of persecution in your body? Scar, mark of betrayal, mark of suffering, mark of pain, mark of weeping. The flogged apostle Paul the mark still remain in his body. Beloved, please buy the truth and sell it not. Are you suffering to keep your home? Or suffering and study to become great? Or are you suffering to earn your, your daily bread? Or are you suffering to, to train up your children? Is there any type of life curriculum of suffering you are going through? They are just all light affliction, he said. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work for us for a moment exceeding an eternal weight of glory thank you father for your word beloved if our own advantage it is sweetness they say and freedom from high blood prayer that end the bitter leaf if consumed initially it might be bitter as long as you can take it they call it bitter leaf Reduces eyebrow prayer. 
place, no matter how much it hurts now, one day you look back and realize it has changed your life for the better. Second Timothy chapter three verse Second Timothy chapter two verse three. Second Timothy chapter two verse three. Suffer hardship with me as a good soldier of Christ. New America Standard Fashion. They suffer the pain. Suffer with me, he said. We must bear it, we must endure it. Believe me honestly, they suffer the pain from the thorn before they see the rose flower. And the Bible tells for today says, First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. After we have suffered a while, he said, He make you perfect. He establishes you, he strengthens you, and he settles you. Beloved, you must learn how to endure the light affliction. You can. It won't swallow you. Your manufacturer has designed and equipped you with everything you needed to win. You can do all things to cry that strengthen you. It's a part. Somebody listen. It's a part we must all follow. Our master follow it. Our master follow same too. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 7 but made himself of no repetition and took up him the form of a slave and was made in likeness of a man and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross thank you father for your word he suffered for sin that he did not commit we beat him. He suffered pain. And this is the consolation. Jehovah God rewarded him with a name that is above all name. Jesus Christ is his name. Please. It is not all suffering. You rebook. Not all suffering. You send back to the sender. Sometimes God allow us to go through tough time as to make us become more stronger and more mature. Please endure hardship as a true soldier of Christ, as a true believers. Must learn to equip ourselves. The light affliction we suffer on this planet, beloved should even echo a warning to every one of us never to be a candidate of the eternal suffering. The one on earth is just a light affliction. You can't compare it to the real suffering, the eternal suffering. But it amazes me to see many still following the path that lead to the land of endless suffering. It is hellfire, which is eternal suffering. They are afraid of light affliction, but they are not afraid of the eternal suffering. Where the Bible said in Matthew chapter 12, 42, that there shall be willing and gnashing of teeth. This is the really suffering. We must give all we can not to be a partaker. In this eternal suffering, how we may ask. So simple, so simple by living a godly lifestyle on this planet. It is all about your lifestyle now. 
to encourage you, please, live a life of holiness and in moderation. A life that is pleasable and acceptable unto God. But you need Christ Jesus to help you. And you very watch your confession, you can give your life to Jesus by saying, Lord Jesus, I heard about you that you are the way. You paid. You suffered for it. I come to you, accept me, come and be my Lord and my personal Savior. From faith I confess. And amen and amen. A awesome congratulation to you. You will not die in that suffering in the name of Jesus. And you will see the end of that struggle. It will not swallow you. It will not swallow yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah God will perfect, establish, strengthen, and set to you in all ramification in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, when the going gets tough, it is only the tough one that gets going. Please keep walking in the light of the work of God. Keep walking in the light of His word. Join us by His grace next week, Thursday, for another branch of Free Clinic. Till then, stay connected, stay in Christ. It is in Christ alone. God bless you. Shalom.